Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by my face, I am so excited right now in this moment in time. We went to the mall and I went to Sephora. You don't go into Sephora and not get anything. Even if you're leaving with a lipstick, you're leaving with something. Well, I'll tell you, I did not leave with a lipstick. I got this thing that is brand new. I'm pretty sure it's brand stinking new. It said new, 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 new. And I have seen one review on it. I never thought I would own a Pat McGrath. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It might be Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath sounds more correct. So I got the new um, Bronze Ambition Sublime Palette. Oh my god, guys. I am so excited. I like swatched one color and I was like, you know what? What's $55? Um, so their full size, his full size palette is $125 and I, I could not pull myself to pay that much for a palette. Um, I saw Jeffree Star's review on that palette and it blew me away. Just the pigmentation, everything. So in my heart, I have wanted one of them, those palettes, but I'm like, you know, a palette, you only reach for, you know, you could reach for a daily palette every single day. But I mean, still... I don't know, just something about spending $125 on a palette. So I just haven't been able to do it. So when they came out with these little mini ones, I was like, holy bananas. And I think there's another mini one that he has as well. So it has this, you know, fancy little latch, which I think is one of my favorite things, you know, super cute. And then you open it up and I love... Oh, my daughter's showing up. I love the little bee decal. I think that is really, really pretty. I love bees. It's actually more of a wasp. Hi. And then you open it up. And, oh, I was wondering how I was going to get that out. Apparently, it just falls out. So, here are the colors. The, wa the mirror is really crisp. It is like a really nice mirror. And there's six colors. And six colors for like $55. I mean, that doesn't even average out to very much. Oh, God. It doesn't average out to nearly as much. Like an Urban Decay single one is $20. So if you were to get six of those, that's $120. So, I mean, it is still on the more affordable side, $55. It's a little more than an Anastasia palette. You got it. And then here is the list of the colors in the palette. Um, I don't know if you guys can read those or not, but I will go across and read them to you. So, oh, I don't want the mirror to like reflect back on you guys. So, starting over here, this one is Guilt Trip. That middle one is Bronze Struck. And this one over here is copperized. This bottom one over here is gold rush, throwing shade, and illicit. And they are all just, they are really pretty colors. It is definitely, it's a bronzy palette. But I mean, there is one matte, five shimmers, and I'm gonna swatch them for you guys. I'm gonna swatch these babies. So this one right here, they are so soft. Oh my god. Like, can you see that? It's so soft. It was so soft. See, my daughter is even telling you it is so soft. Yeah. So, this one right here is Guilt Trip. And it's back. I know. I don't know if you can really see that very well. Can you put it back? She likes to hang out with me while I record, and I feel bad making her leave because I'm like, it's just a video. All right, so I fibbed. She had to boot scoot and boogie because she wasn't letting me get any swatches done. So <clears throat> this one right here is Guilt Trip. And it's kind of just this pretty sheer, almost sheer tan. This one is Bronze Struck. And it's this deeper, like, I don't even know. It just, it looks so, they are so soft. I, I'm mind blown. This one is copperized. Like what? 
these are good these are amazing and I think they're honestly this palette is well worth the $55 just by touching it and once I do um, what I'll do is I'll record and make a video of me using it on my eyes for the very first time and we'll see if I continue to think so so this one right here is almost a chocolatey like dark chocolate coffee brown and it's called illicit and that's this one right here and it has a gold shimmer to it most of these do have like I guess a shimmer but this one actually has like almost miniature gold flakes ah my hands sorry I had to wash my hands so this next one is called throwing shade and this is the only matte and probably um, I would say it would make a pretty good transition it's a little darker than most transitions I use but it would fit with these colors pretty well right there so and then last but not least is gold rush Like, oh my god, I cannot, I cannot. So this is it. I'm gonna focus in on these real quick. Doop. So this one up here is the lightest of them and it could probably be good for like highlighting you know, um, the brow bone and the corner of the eye. Um, but the shade range on this is really good for someone who uses bronzy colors, which I do tend to do. Um, today I kind of went with a more reddish vibe, but I think I honestly could pull off a look similar to this with what's in this palette. Um, when I went into Sephora, I pretty much knew that I wanted this just because when I had seen that it was coming out, I was like, oh my god, like this is my chance to own, this is my chance to own a Pat McGrath. So, stay tuned for my full review of how it blends, how it applies. Actually, I can go ahead right now and we can at least see how some of them blend together. So, let's see. What I'm going to do is I put a little bit of throwing shade, which is that blending shade, and I'll put that right here. Um, it does seem to blend pretty decent, like, evenly. Um, it does have a little bit of a bunch there in the middle where I first started, but, you know. And then a little bit of Gold Rush. I would say they work together pretty well. They blend into each other pretty well. Um, this is me just grabbing a couple colors and seeing exactly... Oh, was I was even showing you guys that whole time. Um, seeing exactly what, you know, they go together like. Uh, they blend right into each other, honestly. Um, almost maybe a little too into each other. So let me grab some of this copperized and see... Okay, so this is Throwing Shade, blended into Gold Rush, blended into Copperized. So as you can see, I mean, they pretty much, like, they go into each other, like, flawlessly. So I have no complaints just by, like, experiencing first touch. This is my first touch, by the way. I mean, I touched... <sighs> Can't stand Fallout. There is a little bit of Fallout. I'm excited, guys. I really am. I can't wait to do a look with this. I can't wait to see how well they look on the eyes, what kind of brushes, like, you know, how well my cup of brushes kind of mixes into them, or if they are just more of finger eyeshadows. I can't imagine that they are. I mean, this is this is a finer palette. I mean, I would like to think that you could definitely use brushes, but they're just, again, these are beautiful, beautiful colors. So, as of not doing my eyes, but just swatching and touching with my feels and 
just experiencing it, I would definitely say that this is super worth the 55 and I would say to try it if these are your kind of colors. You know, I mean, they blended into each other amazingly on my forearm, so I would like to think they do the same on the eye. If you have any questions, make sure you put them down in the comment section. That way I can answer those as fast as possible and get back to you guys and let you know um, what else you're wondering. Um, but again, it, it's just it's a beautiful palette. I think totally worth it. And I can't wait to show you guys firsthand what it's going to look like on the eyes. So hopefully not tonight when I get this video up, but tomorrow I will to plan to do my makeup for the day and um, I will use this palette to do so that way I can get this up and you guys can see what it looks like on the eyes so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit subscribe if you liked my video hit it a thumbs up and let me know down below what your thoughts are also follow me on Instagram where you can keep up with things before they even hit YouTube because I am more repeatedly on my Instagram like whether it be like some makeup looks that I do or just letting you know what fun little items I'm getting. So definitely look forward to seeing you guys over there. I love you guys so much. Thank you for your continued support and watching me and helping my channel to grow and flourish and hopefully be one day one of the gurus. That is the goal. So help me get there guys. Let me know down below your thoughts because that is key is becoming one with you guys and knowing that I am truly giving you guys what you're enjoying in a video. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut it and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys here next time.